Hey folks, Mr. Bullock here, and this uh, Algebra 2 lesson is on graphing square roots and cube root functions. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph uh, each uh, separately. All right, so um, this is from Algebra 1. Remember from Algebra 1, um, uh, this will graph a parabola that kind of looks like that. I'm going kind of fast because that's Algebra 1. Okay, and then um, uh, the square root, um, I like taking numbers I can square. I don't want to square root negative numbers, so that's why I'm not going over here anywhere because I don't want to square root negative numbers. There's no such thing except for imaginaries, but for graphing purposes, we're not going to graph those. So square root of 0 is 0, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3. So I get these ordered pairs, and it's going to make that graph right there. Okay, here's 1, 1, here's 4, 2, here's 9, 3 right there. Okay, uh, the cube root, okay, so when I cube negative 2, negative 2 cubed is 8, negative 1 cubed is, I'm sorry, is negative 8, so I'm going to go to the left 2, down 8, and then negative 1 cubed is negative 1, 0 cubed, 1 cubed, and 8 cubed, and it makes kind of this sort of curvy sort of thing going through here, okay, going like that, all right, so there it is right there, okay. Uh, all right, the cube root. The cube root is the inverse of the one we just did, you guys. So I'm going to take the cube root of negative 8. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. So negative 8 would be down here, negative 2. And then the cube root of negative 1, the cube root of 0, the cube root of 1, the cube root of 8 would be 2. So it's going to make uh, the inverse relationship that kind of looks like that. Now these are called parent graphs, and you guys need to get used to graphing these, I mean, real quick because um, uh, the other ones, we're, we're going to be moving them around quite a bit, so you're going to have to know these parent graphs. So let's go ahead. Here is y equals negative x squared. Remember, y equals x squared was just, it was going up here, so the negative made it reflect across the x-axis. So I think of this, you know, it's a parabola. I know it's a parabola because it's being squared, and it's negative, so it has an unhappy face. It's, it's not smiling, okay? Where it was a, where, when it was positive, it was smiling. It was making a happy face. Okay, that only works for parabolas, by the way. All right, so it's just reflecting it across the y or the x-axis. Okay, um, here's a square root of, or negative the square root of x. Remember, the square root of x was up here. That negative just made it reflect upside down right there. Okay, so uh, uh, negative uh, the cube. I'm sorry, negative x cubed. Remember, x cubed was over here, and it kind of went down and went like this. So that negative takes this part that went over here and flipped it up there, and took this part and flipped it down here. It reflected it over the x-axis. Okay, here is uh, y equals negative the cube root of that. Okay, remember the cube root of x went like this, went down through here. Okay, and then so that negative just reflects it up over the x-axis. So the x-axis is the mirror image on that. Okay, uh, here is a negative three times the cube root of x, and what happens instead of going over one? Uh, up one, because see this other one went over one, up one, it's going over one, up three. Okay, so it's being reflected over the x axis, so this bottom part gets reflected up here and it's going up by three. So the cube root of negative eight is negative two, and negative two times negative three is here at six. Okay, so it's making, it's just making it uh, stretch up taller. Okay. Uh, here is, uh, okay, so steps to graphing uh, a times the square root of x minus h plus k and, and a times the cube root of x minus h plus k. Okay, so first translate your origin uh, horizontally h units and actually you always take the opposite of what's next to that right there. So if that's like a plus 3, then I'm going to go to the left 3. If it's a minus 3, I'll go to the uh, right 3. And this is uh, uh, the same. So I'm going to go uh, uh, translate it up k, okay, so, and then sketch, and I have two examples that will help it, and then sketch uh, uh, just the y equals a, either the square root of x or a times the cube root of x, okay, so I have an example of both of those. So here's one. Sketch this and then state the domain and the range. Okay, so here I'm going to move the origin to the right 3 up 2. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And it's not really the origin, but, but it sure helps on graphing. And then now I'm just going to graph y equals negative 2 times the square root of x. Okay, square root, and pretend like that's 0, 0. Square root of 0, 0. And then negative 2 times that would be 0. If I go over 1, the square root of 1 is 1. Negative 2 times that would be negative 2. So it will go down 2. The square root of 4. So if I went over 4, it's actually... Uh, over there at 7 right there because we went over um, 3 units so plus uh, 4 but uh, if I go over 4 
Square root of 4 is 2, but negative 2 times that would be negative 4. So it's an upside down square root one right there. Okay, now don't forget, it says state the domain and range. Okay, can you see it goes down or to the right forever? That's your domain, your left and right movement. But it doesn't go to the left, it stops right there. So this is x equals 3, so my domain is x is greater than or equal to 3. And my range is up and down movement, so it goes down forever. But it doesn't go up forever, it stops at 2, so y is less than or equal to uh, 2. Okay, so that would be your domain and range. Alright, let's try cube root 1 right here, okay? Graph y equals 3 times the cube root of x plus 4, minus 1, and then state the domain and range. Okay, so now I'm going to move the origin to the left 4, down 1. Okay, so move the origin to the left 4, down 1. All right, now that's my new origin, and then I'm going to graph uh, y equals 3 times the cube root of x. Okay, so the cube root of, remember this is my new 0, 0, even though it's not 0, 0. Cube root of 0, 0, uh, 3 times that is 0. The cube root of 1 is 1. 3 times that would be 3, so I'd go up 3. The cube root of 8 over, remember it's back 4, so if I went over here to 4, that would be 8. Cube root of 8 is, is uh, 2, and then 2 times that 3 would be 6, so it's going up 6. And then over here it would be over 8, down 6 right there. Okay, state the domain and range. Goes to the left forever, goes to the right forever, So and it's going up and down forever, so my domain and range is uh, x equals all real numbers. Okay, that's the best way a student actually showed me that little trick. I did it the way the book did for years, and a kid came up and showed me that, and I loved it. So I love uh, when kids come up with better rules in the books. Anyways, uh, if you're in my class, that would be your homework.